Hey there. This week I wanted to offer you a bonus lesson about establishing or perhaps refreshing for you a daily meditation practice. And this might be a good fit right now if you really want to accelerate your process around getting out of the stress cycle and um, wanting to really de-stress faster. And it also might feel like it's a bit too much right now. You may feel like you don't want to try and add one more thing into your week or your day beyond what's already in the program uh, thus far, and that's fine too. So you can always circle back to this lesson at any time and uh, come, back, uh, come back into the uh, tools. And or you can dip into the meditation download and listen to that anytime you like anyway. So you've got some options. So meditation as a way of de-stressing is, you know, becoming pretty famous now. Um, mindfulness was on the cover of Time magazine in 2014, and it's, um, which is what's kind of brought uh, meditation into people's awareness more and more, I think. And there's so much research now showing the benefits of meditation practice for lowering stress, lowering blood pressure, helping with cortisol levels, improving concentration, decision making, building mental resilience, all of those things. And my approach to meditation is to really keep it as simple as possible. I believe you just need three things. You need somewhere to sit, a simple practice, and five or ten minutes. And that's it. So I'm going to offer you this very simple approach that may help refresh what you've done in the past or may help you start your own daily meditation now. So what we'll do is we'll, we're going to do a, a short sit. I'm going to offer you what I call a breath awareness meditation and that will give you a sense of how that practice can work. And then we'll talk about logistics a little bit so that you can get started. So firstly, let's um, sit nice and straight so that your back is nice and upright but that you're comfortable and steady so that you can kind of Get really relaxed and you're not going to topple anywhere and you're not having to hold yourself up. So just pretty, um, pretty centred in yourself by the time you've settled. Checking your shoulders are a little rolled back but they're also soft. And you can leave your eyes open or let them close or just soften your gaze. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And we're going to start by just bringing your attention to your body sitting. Really arriving into your body, into this moment, and just becoming aware of the position of your body on your chair or in your, on your cushion. Noticing the shape of your body. Noticing the shape of your body and the parts of your body touching or connecting with your chair, your cushion, the floor. Which parts of the body are in contact? With the floor, the cushion or chair. And noticing the sensations of your body sitting here. And then bring your awareness to the part of your body where you're most aware of your breath without changing your breath in any way, just breathing naturally. And bringing your attention to the movement of your breath in and out of your body. Maybe at your belly, 
your chest, your nostrils, resting your attention on the breath. Just following this one breath all the way in and all the way out. You may notice your mind wandering somewhere, perhaps to a sound outside or what you're going to have for lunch or wherever it might have gone. And so just gently bringing your attention back to your breath. And in a truly gentle way, just gently guiding the mind back. Wandering is perfectly normal and to be expected. And it is what makes meditation a practice. Because we are constantly bringing the mind back as and when we need to. To teach it this one-pointedness, this stillness ability to be in the moment to concentrate and like we would be with a small child we're being gentle we can go of finding perfection and simply making space for progress Just being with the breath. And then gently starting to expand your awareness now from the breath out to the rest of the body once more. Coming aware of the body sitting. And bringing your attention to your feet and to your hands. And then to your head and your face. Turning up the corners of your mouth in a soft smile. And gently coming back into the room, the space. Ready for the rest of your day.
And this is a good time to just take an internal weather report, as I call it, to just check how are you feeling inside yourself now after that five minute sit. And just notice for your own awareness as your own internal feedback loop, what are you aware of there now? Notice what you've learned about yourself or meditation and doing that reflection. So in terms of setting up your own meditation practice each day and making that work well, one of the most useful things to work out is finding a time that's going to suit you. When are you going to do it? And um, I find this is really individual and that it can also take some experimentation. So I encourage you to check it out for yourself if you haven't worked that out yet. Is it when you first wake up in the morning? Is it when you get into bed at night? Is it when you get home at the end of the day uh, before you go into your evening? That can be a really nice time to, to sit. Is it when everybody's left the house in the morning? Um, where, when is that time for you that feels um, like it will suit? Um, and of course you've got the meditation download um, there, the link for that ready to go and um, that is a guided breath awareness meditation by me that's I was going to say 10 minutes it's actually an 11 minute recording but basically it's a 10 minute meditation so it's a nice short one and you can also access it on the Insight Timer app which is available for iPhone and Android so if you want an easy way to get to it on your um, smartphone that's a really good option and just go into the guided section of meditations and um, put my name in and you'll find uh, several of my meditations including the breath awareness one. Um, so you can find that on insighttimer.com if you're looking for that app. So I wish you well with your daily meditation practice. Uh, don't worry if you miss a day, that is very normal and you just begin again. It's um, well, and it's not even beginning again, it's just continuing from where you are. Start where you are uh, and um, you will benefit. Um, and a little and often is more useful than, um, uh, than trying to do longer meditations once or twice a week. So if you're trying to work out how to prioritise that, uh, shorter and often is more beneficial. And also, I don't know about you, but you know, I also find... Um, it can feel like a really boring idea a idea to sit and meditate and I've got other things I'd be rather I'd rather be doing or that seem more exciting. Um, but the reality is that you still benefit even if you're not particularly enjoying it and the research has shown that now. Um, and not long after I found that research, which was from Mark Williams, a professor of um, mindfulness in the UK, but I also heard that John Kabat-Zinn, who's essentially the grandfather of mindfulness in the West, is famous for saying you don't have to love it, you just have to do it. So it may not be the most exciting thing you're going to do in your day, but it's a very good chance it's going to be one of the most beneficial. So I encourage you to, uh, to do it. So enjoy.